Hi guys, welcome to my channel. In this video, I will be covering minimum cost spanning tree and also I will explain what is Prim's algorithm and Kruskal's algorithm. Guys, I have uploaded complete DAS subject tutorials. I will provide a link in description. You can watch from there. Let's get started. At first, I will explain what is spanning tree. Spanning tree is nothing but it is a subgraph that contains all vertices and minimum number of edges. And this spanning tree is undirected graph that does not have any cycle. I will give one example so that you can clearly understand. You can define graph G as V comma E where V stands for vertices and E stands for edges. This is graph. In this graph, 1, 2, 3, 4 are vertices. We can also call these vertices as nodes. And these nodes are connected by edges. These lines are known as edges. Now let us find what are the possible spanning trees for this particular graph. These are the four possible spanning trees for this particular graph. I already said spanning tree contains all vertices. See in this there are four vertices. So this spanning tree also contains four vertices. But it contains minimum number of edges. Whereas in this graph total there are four edges. But spanning tree contains only minimum number of edges. Here for this spanning tree total there are three edges. And this spanning tree is undirected graph. Undirected graph means graph which do not contain any directions. For example, this is directed graph. That means we represent this edge by arrow mark is known as directed graph. But in spanning tree it must be undirected. And it should not contain any cycle. For example, if I select this edge, then it will form cycle. So we should not select this edge. So total there are four possible spanning trees for this particular graph and it must be undirected and acyclic. This is one more example for this particular graph. It contains two cycles. One is this and another one is this. Now we need to find a spanning tree for this particular graph. A spanning tree is nothing but it is a subgraph that contains all vertices and a minimum number of edges. This contains all vertices. Total there are four vertices here. One, two, three, four. So this subgraph contains all vertices and a minimum number of edges. Here for this graph total there are five edges but this graph contains only three edges. So it must be minimum. For example if I connect this then it forms a cycle. So I should not select this edge. Similarly if I select this edge then again it will form cycle. So we should not select this edge. Always it, it must be a cyclic and it is undirected graph. For example it has arrow mark then it is considered as directed graph but it must be undirected graph. Now let us discuss what is minimum cost spanning tree. Minimum cost spanning tree is a spanning tree that contains minimum weighted edges. I will give one example so that you can clearly understand what is minimum cost spanning tree. For example this is a graph. For this graph each edge contains some weights. So now we need to find minimum cost spanning tree. So for this at first we need to find possible spanning trees. What are the possible spanning trees for this graph? 2, 3, 5, 3, 4. This is one spanning tree. This is another spanning tree. Guys, if I connect this 2 and 4 vertices, then it will form a cycle. So I should not connect this. This is another spanning tree. So these are the possible spanning trees for this particular graph. Now we need to find minimum cost spanning tree. So total cost of this particular graph is 4 plus 5 plus 3 that is 12. And similarly total cost for this graph is 5 plus 4 plus 6 that is 15. So we need to find cost for all these graphs. Among all these graphs, this graph cost is minimum. For this particular graph cost is minimum that is less. 4 plus 1 plus 3 that is 8. So this is minimum cost spanning tree. Among all these spanning trees, this is minimum cost spanning tree. This is how we will find minimum cost spanning tree. But finding all possible spanning trees and then calculating total cost for this spanning trees is time taking process. So for this purpose, we use Prim's algorithm and Kruskal's algorithm. At first, I will explain Kruskal's method. In Kruskal's method, we will keep on picking smallest weighted edges. But if that edge forms cycle, then we will not select that edge. So we will repeat the same process until we form minimum spanning tree. I will give an example so that you can clearly understand Kruskal's method. For example, this is a graph. Now we will find minimum cost spanning tree for this graph by using Kruskal's method. Kruskal's method always says that select the smallest weighted edge. Among all these edges which has smallest weight that is this one. One is smaller. So at first I will select edge one. So I will connect B to A. 
weight is 1 after after 1 which is smaller 2 is smaller so i will select this weight is 2 after 2 3 is smallest weighted edge so here b to c weight is 3 and from a to c weight is 3 so i can select either this or this so i will select this after 3 which is smaller this one now but i will not select this because if i select this edge then it will form a cycle so we need to ignore this we need to select smallest weighted edge but whenever that edge is forming a cycle then we should ignore that edge we should not select that edge after three which one is smaller that is c to d weight is four so i will connect this and after this which one is smaller five but if i connect a to a a to e then again it will form a cycle so we will stop this here so total weight is three plus one that is four 4 plus 4 8 plus 2 10 total weight is 10 this is minimum cost spanning tree this is how we will find minimum cost spanning tree by using Kruskal's method next let us discuss prims algorithm guys you need to remember one thing that is we can find a minimum cost spanning tree only for connected graph connected graph mean there should be connection between each and every nodes for example if you consider this graph we cannot find a minimum cost spanning tree for this graph because it is not connected graph next to prims algorithm in prims algorithm at first we need to select any single node and then we should keep on connecting the adjacent nodes until we find minimum spanning tree i will give one example so that you can clearly understand for example this is a graph now we will find minimum cost spanning tree for this graph by using prims method at first we need to select any single node for example i am selecting node b and then we should keep on connecting the nodes keep on connecting the adjacent nodes what are adjacent nodes for this node b this b is connected to node d and node c so d and c are adjacent nodes among these two which are smallest weight that is phi is smallest so i will select this edge i will connect b to d weight is phi what are adjacent nodes for bd that is node b is connected to c so adjacent node is c and similarly d is connected to c and e so among these three which is smaller one is smaller so i will select d to e weight is one and after one i can select two connected to c and adjacent node for this c is a so i will connect this c to a weight is three if i connect to b to c then it will form a cycle and similarly if i connect from c to e it will form a cycle so i can stop this here so total weight is 5 plus 2 plus 1 plus 3 that is 11 11 units guys it is very simple we should keep on connecting the adjacent nodes with minimum weights until we form a minimum spanning tree if that edge form a cycle then we should ignore that 